What's up guys, back with another video. Uh, today's video is actually gonna be a collection update, but right now I'm outside of Best Buy because there's a movie that came out that I definitely wanna add to this video and I wanna add to my collection. So let's go inside and hopefully they have it. So just looking around here, I still have this, which we'll talk about that in a second. But uh, what I was actually coming here to get is this. They also have this, they have this uh, Best Buy exclusive steelbook for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Really cool commentaries on there. I already have this movie, but it's pretty cool steelbook. Just looking over here, they don't really have any pops besides that God of War one. And check out this plush. It's a uh, Poe Rapper, the rapper. Kind of funny. And then they got uh, Nathan Drake from Uncharted. It's kind of cool. So I picked up Jackie Chan's Bleeding Steel. Definitely a movie I wanted to watch. Talk about it more here in a second. But I also picked up something else back there. But you'll see that as soon as we get home. So I'm back home after work. It's pretty late at night, but I'm gonna show you everything that I've picked up over the past couple of weeks that hasn't made it into like one of my regular videos. And even some stuff that was given to me by my friend. So first we're gonna go through all the movies that I've picked up. And the first uh, three here, are were given to me by my buddy Grant. So the first one here is a really cool documentary. This is uh, Hitman Heart Wrestling with Shadows. Um, this is a great documentary. If you've never seen it, um, it's about the the wrestler Brett the Hitman Heart, and they're making a documentary about him. And it just so happened that while they were filming the documentary, is when he got screwed in Montreal, and they they made him uh, lose the title. Very controversial. Because he was going to another promotion, stuff like that. But really cool documentary. If you've never seen it, definitely a really cool one uh, to 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 watch. And I didn't own it, so my friend gave it to me. He found it for two dollars right there. Really cool deal. I don't think I've seen um, this bonus feature here, the life and death of Owen Hart, uh, which is his brother who tragically died uh, during a wrestling pay per view. But I'm um, still really cool. So interested in watching that, but. Still a really cool documentary, so thanks to my buddy Grant for that one. And then uh, he gave me this this VHS tape. It's called uh, Champions, and this says Ken Shamrock and Danny Trejo, and it says the ultimate fight to the death. <laughs> cool cover. You got Ken Shamrock right there, Danny Trejo. I mean, this is from what 1996. This is definitely gonna be some cheesy fun right here. Uh, there's the back. You can see right there. Cool VHS tape, uh, but uh, yeah, that's cool. Happy to have that one, Champions. And then uh, this other one is a documentary that I've always wanted to own. I watched it a long, long time ago. Uh, I think I borrowed it from from him. So, but he he found it. I guess he had another copy that was factory sealed, and he gave it to me. And this is the best worst movie. The documentary about uh, the story behind the worst movie ever made, Troll Two. This is a really cool documentary. Love the green case. Really cool. If you've never seen Troll 2, very uh, interesting movie. Uh, the first one was definitely better in my opinion, but Troll 2 is such a, a weird movie. And this documentary about all all about the making of and like the why people you know call it the the worst movie. So, so definitely check this out if you haven't. Really cool documentary uh, about that one. And then as you saw, I went to uh, Best Buy. Uh, earlier today and I got uh, Jackie Chan and Bleeding Steel Unravel the past defend the future. This looks really cool. I'm de I'm gonna watch this one tonight um, but <laughs> it's basically about Jackie Chan and like There's aliens and stuff and it's Jackie Chan versus the aliens. So I mean I'll pick up anything Jackie Chan. He's definitely like my favorite actor I have so many of his movies and I mean how I think he's closer to 70 years old now or I believe so I mean I, lo I just love Jackie Chan, so had to pick that one up, support my guy, Jackie Chan. And then the one that I kind of teased behind that was uh, Pokemon the movie, I Choose You. I always wanted to watch this one when it came to theaters. It was only in theaters for like a couple days, so I didn't get to see it. But if you don't know about this movie, um, I don't know what number of movie this is. I know there's so many Pokemon movies out there, but... And this one, Pikachu actually speaks, which is really cool. So definitely looking forward to watching this one. The synopsis looks pretty cool. They're uh, 
Ash sees a Ho O pass by and, and he goes after him, I guess. Uh, just reading the back here. So there's a it's an adventure of him trying to catch the legendary Pokemon Ho O. So really interested in watching this. Um, and just to see Pikachu actually speak, that's pretty cool. So then I picked up uh, the next one here. I picked up is uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks in uh, Catch Me If You Can. I actually picked this up because my wife wanted to watch it. So anytime there's a movie she wants to watch that we can watch together, I I'll, I will definitely go out just to get it, just so we can watch it together. I love watching movies with my wife. So picked this one up. I actually never seen this. She says she has a long time ago, um, but she works at a bank and you know he I guess this guy Leonardo DiCaprio plays a guy who like. Uh, writes like fake checks and stuff and does a bunch of other stuff. I'm not really 100% sure, but um, so she was just interested in that and she said she's seen it. I haven't seen it. So uh, yeah, I just started watching it tonight, uh, earlier tonight and uh, it was pretty interesting. It started, it start, at first I was kind of like, what's going on? But then, you know, it, it starts going in a general direction, but um, still pretty cool. Uh, excited to watch that one. And then this last one, which I did watch. Everybody, everybody probably picked this one up. Um, really enjoyed the first one. When this one came out, I didn't get to see it in theaters. I really wanted to, but just didn't get the time, the chance or time to do it. So this one is a Deadpool 2, the super duper cut. And <laughs> what an awesome movie, man. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, he was born to play Deadpool. Such a cool movie. Um... I can nitpick, but I'm, I just, I mean, it's a very fun, enjoyable movie. Really cool. Definitely not for kids, but still really enjoyable movie. If you haven't seen Deadpool 2, what are you waiting for? Such a great, great movie. So those are all the movies I picked up. So thank you to my buddy Grant for the ones he gave me. And then the other ones that I picked up, really cool. Definitely a lot of stuff that I'm excited to watch. So next I'm going to show you the pops that I picked up. And then I also got this action figure from my buddy. This is from 1993. This is from the Super Mario Brothers movie, and it's a Goomba. Really cool looking figure there, still on the card, which is amazing. This is 25 years old, 1993. There's Mario and Luigi there. There's the Goomba, green dude. And then if you look at the back here, you got Mario, Luigi, King Koopa, Spike, and, Ig and uh, Iggy, and then the Goomba there in the middle. Really cool line um, from back in the day from the movie. I would love to own all these, but they're pretty <laughs> pricey. So happy to have gotten this one for my buddy. That's really cool of him to have just given this to me. And that's awesome. Love that. So there's that guy. And then uh, let's get into the pops. The first two, the first two pops here, Target has been like resetting their pop section because they got like NECA toys and basically re resetting all their um, uh, uh, toy area because you know they're getting a lot more stuff in because you know toys rust is closed so they're getting a lot more lines uh to action uh, toy lines and stuff so they redid the the uh funko pop uh section and they put they got a lot more stock of older kind of stuff that they used to have and i never picked these up originally so when i saw these i was like i'm gonna go ahead and get them these were minty fresh right out of the box the first one here is uh from rick and morty and it's scary terry he looks cool. Love that. Such a great character from the show. Um, definitely don't have most of these. I don't have Young Rick. I don't have Beth Summer. Even though Beth and Summer, I see those everywhere. Um, I don't have Lawyer Morty, but also they have like they still have him at Target when I got these. So he's still there. If I really wanted to get him, which I probably will eventually. Um, I would like to get Young Rick, but I think he was in a like one of those special boxes of Hot Topic, I believe. So I don't know if I was able to get him, but. Picked up Scary Terry, really cool figure. Like that a lot, so picked him up. And then the other guy I picked up is uh, Jerry, who is an awesome character. He's so funny, man. Really love this show too. Can't wait for the next season. Not sure when it will come out, but still such a great uh, pop there. It looks so good. Look at that. Great attention to detail. I love the the mouth and the just the detail. So cool picked up Jerry so that or the, that's that was that and then um, the other one that I picked the other two the other two that I picked up is uh, from a game that's coming out not this Friday but next Friday and that's spider-man so I went back to think geek and I picked up miles Morales 
which looks pretty cool. Like that a lot. Nice looking pot. Miles Morales. Cool. And then, uh, of course, the main one I wanted to get when I went back was Mr. Negative. Look at that paint job. He's almost like metallic looking. He looks really, really nice. Love that. Love the little sword he has. Such a cool looking pop. Definitely uh, happy to add this. Add blah, blah, defin definitely happy to add this one to the collection. The paint app is definitely on point too. So really cool. Definitely had to pick that guy up. That's a nice looking pop. And then the last pop that I got. Now you know I have the white tiger zord. You know I have a dragon zord. But what I didn't have was a mega zord. And Big Bad Toy Store, if you ever visited their website, they have a ton of kind of action figures on there, hot toys, you name it. All everything you could you could think of toy related, they have it on there. And they also have pops. Well they had a exclusive uh on there that was only to an anime convention, but they had it on their website. And this was the AAA anime exclusive metallic Megazord. Six inch Megazord, such a uh, well. The box is not perfect, it's okay, but still, the Megazord inside there looks awesome. It looks so cool right there. Metallic paint. So now I have a Megazord, a white Tiger Zord, and a Dragon Zord. So that's cool. I got all the Zords. I didn't think that would happen, but uh, it happened. So really cool. Love the paint app on this guy. And uh, yeah, so the last thing I'm going to show you is a. Uh, I remember last time in the in the pat in the last video my PS3 went out and so I knew at my job at Costco we were selling not PS3 my PS4 went out and at my job at Costco um, we sell them there and they're pretty good price this was this was only two hundred and eighty nine ninety nine so I picked this one up this is the one terabyte PS4 it's the newer model like the kind of more even more slim than the one I had. Um, but it's one terabyte, so that's cool. It definitely has more memory. And with Spider-Man coming out next week and NBA 2K19, definitely have to play those. So I definitely, I just bit the bullet and picked that up. But um, yeah, that's everything I picked up over the past couple of weeks that I didn't make it into a video. So stay tuned for my next video because that's going to be my baby's gender reveal. So excited for that. We're finding out on Monday and I have all this footage that I filmed um, that I haven't shown y'all that I'm going to put all together in one big long vlog and it's going to be really cool so stay tuned for that remember to uh hit that uh notification bell so you'll know when i post that video please subscribe if you haven't please check me out on instagram snapchat twitter and facebook and i will see you all next time